Hello everyone and welcome to another installment at suitcafe.com. This time I have something really special for you. It's not a suit and it's not a watch, but it's a car. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Phil Pravda here, Suit Cafe. And I just wanna thank everybody uh, who's here watching this. This is our first ever car review here at Suit Cafe. And uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We have uh, lots and lots of people who watch and uh, not everybody subscribes. So if you wanna see more videos like this, we're gonna be expanding the channel. We already did some reviews of some watches. Of course, I always do clothing, which is my main, uh, main part of this channel. But we're gonna be getting into more things like this. So if you'd like to see more of these things, please subscribe so you can get notifications of when I get some uh, new types of cars. So here, what do we have today? Here we have a Porsche. Now, what type of Porsche is this? Well, it's a Porsche Macan. Is it a Macan, the base, or is it a Macan S, or is it a Macan GTS, or is it a Macan Turbo? Well, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, and hopefully down in the comments, you could guess which one this is. Of course, I'm going to have to leave out a few things, a few features of this car that would give away whether what model of this car uh, it may be, but I'm going to show you uh, a few things about this car, and I'm going to give it to you from a real-world perspective. You know, you could look up online. You can go to PorscheUSA.com. They have an amazing configurator. You could choose all the colors. You could choose all the specs. You could choose the wheels. You could choose the, even the color of the door handle if you want to change that as an extra here at, uh, at uh, PorscheUSA.com. So I'm not going to get into all the really technical details of the horsepower and the braking power, the torque. That's easily Googleable. You could do it yourself online if you want to know. I want to give you an idea of what it is like to drive this car, the feeling you get when you're driving this car, and um, really how it handles on the road, and not necessarily at high speed, because personally, I like to drive it slowly. Because when you're driving slowly, you could really feel the smoothness. You could feel the cars like riding on silk. The steering, when you turn the wheel slowly, it's just so silky smooth. But we're gonna get into that a little later. I'm gonna show you a couple things here on the outside of the car. First of all, on this particular Macan, and remember, you're not sure which model it is. You're gonna to have to guess that. This is uh, the extra price of this type of paint. This is the famous chalk color, which in Europe they call crayon. So this is the uh, chalk. It's like a very light pale gray. Hopefully you can see it okay here in this uh, video. And this entire car is chalk and the chrome has been deleted from this car. So as an extra added option, you could have all black without any sort of uh, aluminum or chrome around the windows, no chrome on the door handles and uh, no chrome anywhere else on this car. Only you have the um, black here and also the black across the back of the car no chrome where it says Porsche across the back, which I'll show you in another shot, uh, so you can see that as well. Now the wheels, we have the 20 inch wheels. These are called the satin platinum wheels. Uh, wheels come, uh, there's, a, there's a whole array of wheels you can get. Uh, 18 inch, uh, some 19 inch are come as a standard, and then you have 20, 21, 22. Some of those come as uh, options on the car, anywhere up to like $5,500 extra. Uh, on wheels for this car. Uh, this is the satin, satin Platinum, which tends to match very nicely with this chalk color. Uh, personally, I like uh, black wheels. Uh, black wheels is a, quite a bit fashionable now on cars, but you know, the Satin Platinum, when it comes to Porsche, it's a color only for Porsche. Only they have this color. No one else really has that color. So if you want something a little different, a little more unusual that really no one else is gonna have, you can get these uh, Satin Platinum wheels. And of course, you have the colorful crest uh, inside the wheels themselves that shows uh, the Porsche logo very, very nicely. Um, that's basically the exterior of this car. Cause so if you look on, uh, if you look online and the Porsche configurator, you can see uh, what sort of options are on the outside of this car, which really aren't too many for the outside. Most of the mechanics, no matter what model they are, come with uh, all the same look as opposed to wheels, whether you get black over here or if you get chrome aluminum look, and uh, that's, uh, you know, and whether you get the lettering in the back uh, in black, in matte black, high gloss black, or in chrome. Uh, otherwise, all the cars look exactly the same. So it's really hard to tell which model it is unless you're looking at the back where it says the model, or if you open up the hood, which I'm not gonna do, to show you the engine, and then you'll exactly know which model it is. So why don't we get inside and show you a couple things on the interior of this car, which may give you a hint of what uh, model this is. McCann Base, McCann S, McCann GTS, or McCann Turbo. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this is a 2021. So let's get inside right now. 
So here are, are everyone. Uh, we're inside the uh, Porsche right now. And uh, you got this really nice wide angle shot where you could see uh, me here in the driver's seat. And you could also see the passenger seat on the other side with the full console in the middle. Um, the PCM, which is the Porsche Connect Management System, which is right here. Let's mute that right there. Comes with um, Sirius XM radio. Uh, you get three months free. You could extend that if you want and get a subscription. You also have your AM FM radio as well. And um, a lot of other features, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, I think right here we could start on the steering wheel. You have a few controls here on the steering wheel. Here you have um, volume, and when you push it in, you have uh, muting that volume. And then uh, this one here is uh, a button where you can control whatever you want. In other words, it's a programmable button. And here you have uh, answering your phone and disconnecting your phone. And then you have another knob here which controls this uh, screen, digital screen, right inside here. So now we have some vehicle information where you have uh, gasoline and you have uh, voltage of your battery and water temperature. As you turn this, you get the torque split between uh, for the all-wheel drive between the rear wheels and the front wheels. Of course, I'm not moving at the moment. Then you have the TPMS, which is the tire pressure monitoring system. Um, shows you the air pressure in your tires on all four tires, uh, front and rear. Uh, trip computer, uh, this you can program to start every time you turn on the car or to accumulate uh, time and miles. It also shows you fuel consumption as well. This car uh, was getting like, um, I don't know, like 26 miles to the gallon uh, last time I uh, really checked it, which is actually pretty good. Uh, navigation, uh, your last place where you were. And of course, you can get the map, full map inside here while you're uh, doing your navigation, your phone, you could see what's going on with your phone in here. And also you could have your radio, anything that's on the radio could show up over here as well. In case you have your navigation on the screen, you can hit the nav button over here. Now you have your navigation on the screen and you could see what's playing on your radio uh, right over there. Of course, the big tachometer in the middle, and then you have your speedometer on the side. And of course, digital speed down there in the center and your uh, miles that you've driven and also a trip uh, odometer that's there as well you have your paddle shifters down shifting here up shifting here very very smooth your uh, directional and uh, also you have part of the PCM when you press this button right over here this little uh, picture here of a little uh, head speaking to you you can talk to your Porsche and you could tell your Porsche that you want to navigate somewhere or change the radio station or even to call somebody because this car has built-in uh, Apple CarPlay Bluetooth or you could also connect it via a USB port, which is where what you have inside here. You have two USB ports in here, and you also have USB ports in the rear, which is next to the rear air conditioning and uh, rear heating vents in the rear of the car. This car is um, leather seats. It has the pinhole seats here in the leather. That's because some of the uh, features on this car that you have with the um, premium uh, package plus, uh, you get um, heated and air conditioned seats. So air conditioning comes out of those little pinholes. If you get the Alcantara, which is one of the base things for the base car, although that doesn't mean this is a base car just because it doesn't have the Alcantara, um, you cannot have the cooled seats because there's no holes for to let the air out. Uh, has a sport button. You want to put the car into sport. Uh, this here is for some, um, uh, this is to turn off your stability. Uh, track if you want to go around a racetrack and you don't want the stability track on and then if you're going off-roading to give the car some uh, extra traction uh, you can have that as well this is the um, this button here tells you when you're um, drifting in and out of a lane it makes a very annoying noise it goes eh, 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 extremely annoying so that has been uh, off all the time and of course you have the automatic button when you are at a stoplight and the car stops your engine shuts off if you want to stop that from happening you just press this button and now your engine will always stay on all the time. So you don't have that sort of like slight bump that when you take your foot off the brake, your engine turns back on again, which I found uh, very annoying. Uh, piano, um, black piano, uh, glossy finish on the doors and on the dashboard. And of course you have the little sticker here which shows what your tires are rated for. Of course that could be peeled off. These tires are rated for up to 150 miles per hour. Here on the door, you have uh, lock and unlock your doors. You have uh, memory setting, three memory settings. And this car also, also has Porsche um, 
uh, Porsche Drive feature where when you get out of the car, your seat goes back, your steering wheel goes up, and also it has the memory of, uh, based on the key fob, in case you get more than one key fob with this car, based on who is in the car and which key fob they're using, it remembers all of the settings for that particular key fob which is also a very interesting feature to have. Also on the door, you have your regular features, open up the back hatch, lock the doors, all four windows power, and of course, change the uh, position of your mirrors. This, this one right over here, if you look at the edge of the um, rear view mirror right here, you'll see that flash yellow right there. That's your blind spot uh, monitoring right there. So uh, lane change assist, blind spot monitoring. Uh, if someone's in your blind spot, that's gonna flash yellow. You know it's not the time to uh, change lanes and of course always look behind you when you do. That was a little hard to see on the, um, on, on the camera here. Now hidden down here inside is a little button and if you look over here you might see a little something pop up. It says uh, your heated steering wheel is now on. And if you press it again it says your heated steering wheel is now off. Heated steering is a $280 option uh, in this car. So uh, that's another option that this car has and um, you have your air conditioning and heating all with buttons, uh, depending on where you want the air conditioning heat. If you want it to come up from the vents up here, if you want it from the vents uh, mid-level, and if you want it from the floor, usually heating you put from the floor because heat rises and air conditioning you put mid-level because air conditioning drops down, cold air drops. So uh, then your typical things where you have defroster, air circulation, sinking of air conditioning and heating for both sides because passenger and driver can have their own uh, separate uh, air conditioning and heating as well. And you could choose the temperature right here and choose the fan speed individually for each person right there. Uh, also here you can uh, connect to all the different things that you want to do using physical buttons, but you could also choose it here on the, um, on the navigation itself. So you have your radio, you have your favorite stations. If you want to see favorites, you can click here. They come out. You could easily swipe like this. Favorite stations go in and out like that. Uh, you could see a list of uh, the channels that are on your particular chosen uh, band. Right now it's Sirius XM. So these are all the channels in Sirius XM. Very responsive. Just scroll up and down as much as you want. Or you can tune it with a particular number. You could type the number in yourself. Uh, your phone, if you want to dial from your phone. Uh, interesting thing this car has, you have different apps here. Um, now these are apps in the car. This is not connected to uh, Apple CarPlay right now. If it was Apple CarPlay, you would have another button here to tap on that would say Apple, that would say CarPlay, and then you would see the apps from your phone that would show up over here. These are apps that are built into the car. This is the part of the uh, PCM, Porsche Connect Management, which is free for the first year. Otherwise, after the first year, you have to pay maybe a couple hundred dollars a year for it to work. Uh, you have your weather. So it loads, obviously, from the uh, internet. It gets your weather right here, and you could pick any location that you want. You could see what's going on here with the weather for the next uh, few days. Uh, you have your devices. You have your sound, which you could change if you want more sound left, right, rear, uh, rear and front, and then other settings that it has. Uh, this has a Bose stereo system uh, in it. Uh, that is also part of the Premium Package Plus to get the Bose stereo system. And uh, then you could change what type of sound you want. There's all different types of sounds. Surround sound, linear sound, depending on what type of you know, uh, music that you like to uh, listen to. So you can choose those, you know, choose those things as well. And uh, of course, everybody loves the clock that Porsche gives there right on the dashboard. This car comes uh, standard with that clock. Up above, we have some other controls here. Obviously, just for lighting, we have a big, big panorama roof. Also for the rear passengers, they have the panorama roof for them back there. They're, they're the rear seats back there, very, very comfortable. I'm six foot three, I fit there uh, no problem in the back. Um, now I sit way back. So for me, somebody might have a problem sitting behind me because I really sit far back even farther than most people who are my height. But um, this is the uh, panorama roof. And what's nice about it is you have a button on the, on the roof line here, which is right here. You press that button. You can close the shade just for the people in the back if you wanted to, like that. Or you could you know, use the one touch and the shade will close completely all the way to, uh, if it's, you know, obviously it's smoked glass, but if it's really, really sunny and there's too much heat in the car, you can close that entire shade and the whole thing, uh, the whole thing closes up. Uh, I keep it open just for purposes now of, um, you know, doing this video. So there's a little more, a little more light in the car. Now I drove also the Cayenne 
and I could tell you that uh, I like the setup of the McCann better. Um, the Cayenne, I was not fond of the glass panel where you had to sort of figure your way of what you're touching. You're not sure if you actually hit it. It does have haptic feedback in the Cayenne, but my personal taste is I like the buttons better. I want to hit the button. I know I hit it. The little red light goes on. I know that that option is easily uh, on or off uh, for me. So, um, you know, I like that. Uh, I like that quite a bit. Of course, the car has uh, cruise control right here. You have washer and wipers in the front. You have wipers in the back. They're rain sensing wipers. Well, if there's a little bit of drizzle, all of a sudden whoosh, your wipers go on and they sweep across the uh, windshield for you. Uh, this car also has, uh, as all cars do, you have your parking lights, you have your headlights, and then if you pull out on your headlights, the car has a rear fog light. That is one bright red light on the lower part of the car. It's on the lower right driver's side that goes on. So if you're in bad weather and you want to make sure somebody's seeing you from the rear a little better, you pull that out and you turn on the rear, uh, the rear fog light. The car has automatic headlights, so they go on when the you know, at uh, sundown, they start to go on, and then you could turn on the automatic brights. The car will figure out for you when you need the brights to go on and uh, when you need the brights uh, not to go on, especially when there's oncoming traffic. Uh, cup holders right here. You can see you got two right there, but the, there are more bottles of water that fit very easily down here in the uh, door panel. You could put a phone down there. You could put a uh, water bottle down there. It doesn't really shake around much at all. Uh, this is movable. It's a little more difficult when you have a water bottle in there, but this you can move up. So you have a armrest completely for your arm. Um, you know, my, I'm a little tall, so you know, if I have it in the back part, it works fine for me. Somebody may need that a little closer to them, of course. And electronic uh, parking brake. You just pick that up, boom, your parking brake is on. Pick it up again, boom, your parking brake is off. And of course, uh, gear shifter, which will show you right inside here with a little red dot that you're in reverse, you're in drive, you are in, uh, you know, now, now I'm in drive. And of course, if you push it over to the side, you have manual shifting uh, with the gear shifter as opposed to also shifting with the uh, paddle shifters. You could do both, depending if you like to use the gear shifter, if you like that feel, you can do that, or you can leave it in drive and just use the paddle shifters. The PDK, yes, this is a seven speed PDK transmission in this car. And actually the Cayenne is not PDK. The Cayenne is uh, Tiptronic. So that's another type of transmission that Porsche has, uh, Tiptronic, which came out in the 1980s, I believe. The 1980s was uh, Tiptronic in the late 1980s sometime. So this is PDK, same as the 911 and also same as the uh, Panamera is also PDK. Uh, Taycan just has two gears, it's not the PDK. But in any event, um, that's what this car has, the PDK. And the PDK is uh, super, super smooth. Uh, we'll take it here for just a little spin around the parking lot just to give you an idea um, how smooth this car is. The car is running and as you could tell, uh, you really can't hear it. Uh, I'll rev the engine a little bit. So you get an idea. You can hear that engine uh, sitting here. Remember, it has uh, has uh, two pipes on either side in the black, in the glossy black. So it doesn't have that particular square uh, that some of the uh, McCanns have. Not going to tell you which one, but some of the McCanns have uh, have just the rectangular, have the rectangular uh, exhaust. So um, I think that's it for the interior. I think now it's time to go for a uh, little spin. Of course, if you have any other questions about this car, please uh, leave those questions in the comments. I tend to answer everybody that uh, comments on my videos. Um, and of course, you know, glove compartment that you have over there. That's, uh, you know, standard, standard issue. This car, oh, I should mention, does have 14-way seats. So you can move the top, you can move the bottom, you can move the headrest, and of course, this part, right here this moves forward for people that are a little taller to support their thighs it also go you know you can have the seat forward the seat back in terms of the depth of the seat and in terms of the depth of the legs and of course it goes up and down like this as well so this car has 14 way seats that is part of the uh, luxury premium package which also allows you to get the cooled seats and also the um, heated seats at the same time comes as part of that package uh, what else was an extra in this car? The paint is a big extra in this car, about $3,500 for chalk paint alone. The only standard paint in the Porsche Macan, no matter what the model is, is black or white. Otherwise, all the other colors cost more. So uh, let's take this car for a spin and um, 
listen to the smoothness. So here we are in the back. I'm going to show you the uh, inside of the uh, trunk area, or as in Britain, they call it the boot. Uh, the button to open this, of course, you could open it with the key fob, but it's hidden right here, as you've probably seen in many other videos, right under the uh, windshield wiper there. And then the back opens up, and you have a lot of nice space. There's a couple things I put in there just to make this video. But you have a lot of nice space. And of course, um, those rear seats, as you see there, they all fold down. Even the center one folds down if you want to put something long inside the car you can but you see what else this car has this car has the uh, winter mats in the interior so you have this nice hard plastic mat covering the carpeting here inside and then these are the winter mats that snap in when you take the summer mats or the all season mats away from the inside of the car you can snap down these nice winter mats and they'll collect all the dirt and snow and mud and water when it's uh, bad weather in the winter time you got a little uh, trap over here you can put a couple things like a bottle of wine or some uh, something or some eggs if you want and you got power outlets in the back here as you do uh, inside the car and this is a removable piece this covers up what you have in the car but you could easily take this off uh, if you need to and here you got the two buttons one to close it and then if you're leaving the car you can close and lock right here at the same time this car also has as an extra the uh, black tailpipes that's a 950 dollars extra on this car um, you get two tailpipes uh, obviously on either side and then of course as i said in the back you have as well the porsche logo in uh, matte black finished right there without any chrome this particular car has the model deletion so it does not say mccann mccann s mccann gts we usually see it you know right around here that's gone from this car so that was uh something that was ordered particularly on this uh, on this particular car here and here you have the uh porsche logo right here on the hood looking up to the uh, windshield here and these are the uh, Porsche PDLS Plus uh, headlights they're really truly amazing uh, you could put them on automatic so when you need brights those uh, brights go on automatically but also light tends to shoot out of the side light comes right out of the side onto the side of the street when it's dark to the side of you and that's part of the uh, part of these uh, technology of these headlights and of course it says Porsche really small if you can see it there that's right inside the uh, headlight bay now this car came with uh, Goodyear Eagle touring tires uh, they were changed uh, from the uh, OEM tire to the Michelin Latitude touring HP tires on this particular car and just so you know here's the uh, front tire with the large front caliber uh, disc brakes the front tires on the, this Porsche and the Macan are slightly smaller in the front 265 45s as you can see here and the rear are uh, 295s so slightly larger uh, in the rear so here we go we're going to take this car for a little spin uh, this car also has the uh, 360 degree uh, cameras so um, you could easily change between front and rear and side and panorama front uh, panorama rear and also top down so you can see all the way around you uh, like that of course most of the time you have it in the rear but if you have a tight squeeze you might want to put it to the side so you make sure you're not you know hitting something on uh, either side of you so uh, right now we're in drive we could uh, it'll go away by itself but we'll do that and then also there's a button up here that you can press because a lot of times in traffic if you come near someone the car dings it goes ding 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 like you're coming too close but you know you're in traffic so that could be very annoying so in order to shut that off you can shut off all the parking bells uh, just like that with that one little uh, one little button right here which is a very thoughtful thing that uh, that Porsche uh, Porsche did so let's go uh, right here and uh, we're gonna just drive slowly right here in this parking lot and see if you could hear just how smooth this car is. Now you can see me turning the wheel. The wheel is really smooth. It's almost like turning a wheel inside a milkshake. That's how smooth you know this feels and that's why I particularly like driving this car you know some people I've seen a lot of Porsche videos on YouTube and people just say okay let me floor it and go as fast as I can 300 kilometers an hour I'm going 210 miles an hour in the 911 turbo and they're just like you know the car is shaking and they're on the Autobahn and that's all right that's I guess that's fun but when you just drive slowly 
in a car like this, you just get the feel of like the whole car. You could feel almost, you know, the wheels turning and the Michelin tires or, you know, have that steady, steady grip on the road when you turn around. And, you know, the wheel doesn't make any noise, no squeaks at all. It's just nice and firm and really, really smooth. And the only thing I could, way I can explain it is like, uh, like you're turning a straw in a milkshake. That's what it, you know, that's what it feels like. You now you turn it all the way around, and of course, you know, the car is very responsive. Any, any car is responsive uh, doing this, but it's just really, really smooth. And of course, you have, um, Porsche, you have amazing brakes. I mean, we're just going uh, four miles an hour, no biggie, but uh, to stop with the brakes there. But, you know, brakes on a Porsche, you know, really, really, really amazing at, uh, at any speed. Um, so I think that's it for this review. I can't think of anything else uh, that I could uh, think of to tell you about this car at the moment. Of course, if there are any other um, any other questions that you have, of course, you know, leave them down in the comments, and I'll uh, try to answer it uh, as best I can.